Hey guys, welcome back to another fun, exciting repair video. Uh, today we're working on an 07 BMW X3 with an N52 engine. Uh, we're going to be doing the vacuum pump. This car has already been sent to another shop. They disassembled it, didn't know what they were doing. Uh, it ended up back to me. I didn't want to do it, but we're going to do it anyway so I can teach you guys how to do it. It's a pain in the butt, so follow along. So first you're going to see this here, all the bolts were already out of the intake when it got to me. I just pulled it aside. You don't have to take it all the way off of there. Uh, I just want to get it far enough out that I can replace these gaskets and clean these surfaces, which as you can see, I got plenty of room to do all that. Uh, the part is actually back behind there, but uh, we're going to start with removing this cap, which if you've looked online trying to figure out how to do that, Boy, there is no good information, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, it takes a special tool. I'm going to show you what that tool looks like. So first, you're going to need this tool. You cannot get this cap off, and you cannot put this cap on correctly anyway without this tool. So don't. Don't try it. You have to have this tool. Uh, let me show you how it works. As you see, it's new because I didn't own it. First is this piece. It comes with all these screws and you have to screw it to the outside of the dust cap. Okay, now you can see we got the puller plate bolted to the cover. Uh, it didn't come with all the screws, so I'm hoping that's enough screws. It fits really tight. You need to put the cover on and then put your first screw in there. You'll never get the screws in if you try and pre-drill it. Uh, my advice is I use this little Ryobi impact that I have with a little bit on it. Uh, I don't think you can get these in by hand. They got metal in there. That plate has metal in it. So you might want to use a little drill and see if you can get it set up to where you can get it in there. It sits really tight against it though. So when it's on, you know that it's fit, it's correct. All right, up next is this piece right here. Uh, this little piece screws off the end. It's going to screw in to where your pulley was right there. So I'll get that screwed in and show you how that goes. Okay, so now you can see we got that piece threaded into where that pulley goes. And next we're going to put this bracket here on, which is the pulling bracket. And it needs to sit down here on this. So you have to take out uh, this bolt here, which is right there. And you have to loosen this one, but you can't loosen that one unless you get rid of what I believe is this power steering pump down here. So you got to take the bolts out of it right here. And take one of them off the back over here and then loosen the other one it'll drop out of the way and then this bracket you'll see will go on just like this it'll clamp underneath that one and then it'll bolt to that one just like that setting us up for pulling action let me get set up and I'll show you how it works so in the center of the bracket right here was this piece it was oriented with this big collar piece right here facing up the puller wouldn't fit so i had to reverse it and this piece here that has the threads on it like this i had to reverse it and it had to go on it has to go on the front right here if not your bolt isn't long enough to catch back there if this other piece right here is on there so you'll need to orient that to where this is on this piece and I'm going to loosen this up and get it light. Make sure when you're tight, lighting this up, you loosen this stuff up and kind of get it like loose and get these threads started and then tighten, all, then tighten all that stuff back down. If not, you're going to cross thread it. I almost did that. All right, as you can see, we have the puller set up. Everything's tightened. Everything's centered. And we are ready to start pulling this thing out of there now. So let's get it on out of there. Hoping that it pulls that and not the bolts. This thing really is in there. It is not just pulling right out easy. Hopefully all my bolts stay in. It got easier to pull. I don't see it coming out. Oh, there it comes. Now you can see it pulling out of there. Look at there. Oh, it 
Let's take this out. All right, guys, here you can see the puller is bolted to the cap. The cap is metal on the inside. So uh, uh, those screws are kind of hard to penetrate, but you can if you get a good drill, you can screw them through there. But, you know, you did, I didn't need all of them. I probably could have got away with like four or five of them. But there you go. That's out of there. Uh, not bad for pulling it. All right, guys, that's going to conclude part one. Uh, now you know how to remove the cap and part two I'm going to show you how to replace the pump itself with a new pump uh, and also at the same time how to use that tool kit to lock the pulley in place so you can get the center bolt out of the pump so that way you can separate it from the timing assembly uh, and then how to use that same tool to press the new cap back in that's a reminder that you're going to need a new cap there's going to be holes in yours because you're going to drill screws into it. Uh, so now for part two, go ahead and just click on part two now. I appreciate it, guys, and thanks for watching. Appreciate it.